so the PC is only getting IP addresses in the 10.1.1.0 range, and that is the range of addresses on the enterprise DHCP server. The rogue DHCP server is allocating IP addresses in the 10.1.100 range. So again, on both PC1 and PC2, we are only getting IP addresses in the 10.1.1.0 range. Let's run simulation mode and see what happens. ipconfig slash renew. DHCP message is sent to the switch. DHCP message from the server is sent to the client. But notice DHCP messages from the rogue DHCP server, so this source IP address, are going to be dropped. There's no outbound PDU. So going back, message from the rogue DHCP server is going to be dropped. Messages from the enterprise DHCP server are going to be forwarded. So hence, the PC will get an IP address from the corporate DHCP server. And to make the point on the corporate DHCP server, I'll turn off the DHCP service. So what should happen now is the PCs won't get IP addresses because the server is not allocating IP addresses and DHCP messages from the rogue server are blocked. And there you go, DHCP request failed. Do that in simulation mode. DHCP message to the switch. DHCP message from the rogue server is blocked. So again, DHCP message sent from the rogue server is going to be dropped. The PC will not get an IP address. And we can see that here. But if I enable the DHCP service on the corporate server, run ipconfig slash renew again. Notice the PC gets an IP address and can, for instance, ping PC1. PC1, ipconfig slash renew can ping PC2. So there you go. We've set up a basic DHCP snooping environment on a switch. And we can see the output in the debugs. Let's use some show commands now to show IP DHCP snooping. We can see that this port, Fast Ethernet 02, is trusted. Show IP DHCP snooping binding. We can see our DHCP snooping bindings. This IP address is allocated to this client. This IP address is allocated to this client. So 10.1.1.1 has been allocated to a device with this MAC address on this port number in VLAN 1. So on that PC, ipconfig slash all shows us the MAC address of the PC. It's ending in 21A9, and that's what we see here. So that is the PC's MAC address. So that is PC2. This IP address was allocated to this client on Fast Ethernet 01. So on that client, IP config slash all. This is the MAC address of PC1. This is the IP address of PC1. And that's what we see over here. PC1 is connected to Fast Ethernet 01 as we can see over here. So that looks good. Let's have a look at the database. We can see 20 attempts and 20 successful writes. On PC1, I'll use ipconfig slash renew again. And what you can see on the switch is output of the debug command. And notice the writes have increased I'll clear the screen a bit, do that again, ipconfig slash renew. There's the output of the debug. 
look at the database and notice 22 successful writes. Show IP DHCP snooping once again. We've enabled DHCP snooping on the switch for VLAN 1. The trusted port is Fast Ethernet 02. So there you go. I've configured DHCP snooping on the switch. We've verified using debugs. We've verified using simulation mode in Packet Tracer. So how did you do? Were you able to complete the lab? It's important that you understand DHCP snooping for the CCNA exam. Thank you.